Hey guys, welcome back. It is fake booster box time. Uh, we got a uh, doozy here. Thanks again to Jack for sending this to me. He already had it. He asked me if I'd like to open it on the channel for educational purposes. Um, I agreed, but at the same time, I don't don't buy this stuff. It's just encouraging. Uh, the even if you know that it's fake, don't buy this stuff. You're just encouraging bad behavior, uh, and even if it's not directly bad behavior uh, from the you know the seller themselves people are gonna get a hold of this stuff and rip off newbies so let's uh we'll do a little side by side uh, if you can't tell this is already fake I get questions all the time constantly it's like hey this box is on eBay from a zero feedback seller uh, it looks like trash but I don't know what I'm looking at should I buy it it's only a thousand dollars or something uh, clearly too good to be true um, and probably something a whole lot like this uh, this is way off um, I believe this is from the same diddler as the uh, the jungle box that Jack also sent so if you haven't seen that video I'll put a little link up there and in the description so you can watch that before or afterwards doesn't really matter we'll do another side by side um, comparison with a real box uh, and this is what I encourage everyone to do first edition base is especially hard because the wrap itself is clear uh, but the wrap on this is is wrong it feels wrong uh, it's like the wrong thickness and texture um, but yeah we'll take a look we'll do a little side by side again uh, there's probably a million things wrong with this but uh, we'll point out the very obvious. If you see anything else, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, if you see some some discrepancies, they're gonna be a lot. So, right, a display capture. All right, so side by side already, uh, we can see that um, this is bad. So our first edition limited printing uh, is in the wrong font, just straight off the bat, wrong color, wrong font. Uh, you can see here uh, the the first edition logo and the the text is a much darker and the the wrong font so that's something that is not going to change uh, that's something that you can pretty reliably depend on again if it's a different language box compare it to a real version of you know the different language box the pokeball uh, this is awful so I don't know they made it real derpy here so Again, another uh, box that was made from scratch. Uh, I don't know whether or not they used the images and then kind of did their own thing to print this. Probably that. Uh, I guess it, it would. Maybe they didn't want to scan it directly. Uh, but yeah, the colors are off. the The shape is off. Like it looks, it looks real derpy here. I don't know what's going on exactly. Like it isn't quite a ball, or like it won't close. Um, the thing that you can immediately look for, you know, short of the fact that our splotchy pattern in the background is completely wrong, um, that doesn't change. That's it's going to be the same on all your boxes. Uh, but uh, you'll see up here uh, on the let's see if I can get my cursor going here, right around here, these little green dots, those are always there. That's not like a an error or anything. Uh, those are always supposed to be there. Next, we have the perforations around here, which should always be the same. You can see them on the real box here, 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 and here. Um, those are not present. It looks like there's almost like some, I don't know if they tried to fake one there or if there's just less of them, um, but also very wrong. Um, just all around the colors, uh, much darker and more pronounced in the, the fake box here. Uh, the peak test, almost impossible. Again, this is going to be another scenario where it's going to be something weird inside uh, in terms of the way that packs are laid in there. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect exactly for packs. Um, probably not G.I. Joe, but we, the peak test here is a, is a big old fail. Uh, not to mention the fact that there shouldn't be like, like there's a real solid spot here, so I don't know if there's sideways packs as well. Probably. Um, these should be all laying fat, like not fat. <laughs> flat side by side and um, they're not so uh, I, I guess that's pretty much it for the front side uh, it should be glaringly obvious that this is wrong again 
for if you're looking out for like resealed stuff, uh, be careful. These seams here, uh, if somebody set it up as an actual display, then sold the box and someone rewrapped it, you can see, you can check these little areas here uh, for wear and tear as if, you know, the uh, the box was opened before and, and set up like a display. Um, also, if there was damage on it, uh, I mean, which there is, uh, this damage was just in shipping, but the damage on the plastic should match the damage underneath. So if, if you have like a big gash or scratch or something like that, um, it's on the cardboard, but not on the plastic. That's a, another red flag. But uh, but yeah, next next picture. And then we'll open the entirety of it. It's, again, it's probably going to be like a lot of fake cards uh, with some weird stuff going on. We got the Venusaur here. Uh, our trading card game. The Venusaur is not bad. Again, our pattern is not quite right. Uh, and you can look at multiple images. We're just going to compare with the one at this point in time. Uh, again, much darker on our boy here. We get the expert level there. But even if you were buying something at this level, it'd be good to have a one-to-one -one comparison on hand. Here we have the, uh, again, same as the last box with the, the jungle. Really dark here. Uh, our wizard's purple is somehow lighter. So their color choices are not exactly... Uh, spot on. I don't know why exactly. Yeah, look at the the color difference here. We're like real brown, where it's more of a red on the the real box. Next, Charizard side. We got the Charizard here again. We got the all the the text is slightly off. The colors are slightly off. Um, But yeah, pretty much, pretty much that. Someone went through a lot of effort to make this thing somewhat look like a first edition base box. Here we have uh, the uh, the energy symbols again. Once again, the the wrong ones, and then fonts as well, fonts and spacing and all that stuff. Uh, color, we can see we're much more red here. Again, usually if someone's trying to sell you something fake. Um, they're going to have it across the room between their sister's legs, their stepsister's legs to distract you. They're going to take it on a flip phone camera. It's going to look like shit and you're not necessarily going to be able to tell. But, um, yeah, if it's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. Now, last up, we have the bottom here. Um, we got an upside down image from Heritage, which is cool. Uh, but you can see here that are just our spacing and stuff like that. And it's got all the same... Um, oh, we got 34 written there, 6034 instead of 6033, which is interesting, but still spacing wrong. And there, are, there are some variations uh, within this stuff depending on what set you're looking at. But uh, if you can't find something that matches, chances are you're in for a bad time. Another um, little barcode there, but uh, you can see here the box is at least. No, no, it's not really that close. <laughs> so we got tapered off edges here um, instead of you know the straight down on the real one. Same goes here. It should have been just a, a straight edge. Um, probably whatever place manufactured these bad boys uh, that did that. So, but other than that, uh, looking a whole lot better in terms of the like the seam and stuff like that on the bottom. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is I think this is the biggest giveaway here. Um, but yeah, that's it. Fake box. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Let's get this right display capture out of the way. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So, probably something very similar to those uh, jungle packs. If I had to guess, yeah, the, the wrap should not do that. But uh, that's the thing. If you're just looking at pictures, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be purchasing something like this anyway if you don't uh, if you're not fully protected uh, but again it's hard to tell it's super glossy I think it's hard to open just because it got smashed on the corner all right so our packs are 
like better than the the last ones. They're actually laying flat. So it's just the fact that they don't really fit that it was holding. <laughs> They're a little bit too big. I wonder if we actually have 36. Are they all Charizards? No. Okay, so they're they're in order of the Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to take forever, but you know what, guys? We got, we got to do it. We got to open them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're sh we're short two packs, but I think it's just because they're so thick. Um, very interesting. Uh, so the packs themselves, not even close to what they're supposed to look like. If anyone's seen a base set pack, this is this is not it. We got the little the little pull tabs on some of the TCGs that they have. Let's see if I think we got to use the pull tab. So yeah, we're, we're dealing with the same type of cards here. Wait. Okay, so the hollow. These are these are a nightmare to open, by the way. I've opened a lot of booster packs in my days, um, and none quite as hard as these are. Like they are. They're tough. Okay. Might be a better... I think that's the hollow. We just spoiled the hollow. We got the Gyarados first edition with the uh, mega thick borders. Onyx. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm not totally sure what the purpose was of uh, of making them thick like that. But but they are. So we got a Gyarados hollow. Maybe we'll stick all the hollows aside. It's uh, not only is it a hollow, it's a full hollow top to bottom. We got some damage. That is not going to help us out when we grade that. Alright. We might have to use the knife. These are that bad. Alright. What do we got next? So maybe we'll save... Is there a good way to save the hollow? We'll just put it down. Poliwag, Energy, Poliwhirl, Magikarp. I'm pretty sure the Jungle Box did not have Energy, so I guess they decided that you're going to need them, so we might as well. Might as well have them. Pretty sure these are scans. I should have my, uh, my Jeweler's Loop. Again, if you don't have a Jeweler's Loop, smarten up. If you're collecting Pokemon cards, uh, you need one. But, uh... So, yeah, we, uh... The, the black text here, even if this card was significantly better uh, in terms of its sizing and everything, your black text here should be sharp and not dotty like that. All right, where, what is going on here? Diglett, Dragonair, we got the Dratini to go with them. Energy removal, little OC boy right there. What do we got for a hollow? Oh, we got a Mewtwo, all right. Shiny Mewtwo, he is so shiny, we can't even put him over there because the light is just beaming. Let's, uh, we're just gonna cut the tops off of these. Seems easier. Maybe we'll keep one of each art for fun, uh, for science. Put the ho oh god, we got a, a big old cut mark. That was not me. Magnemite last. Do we have to, uh, the whole set in here? Beedrill, potion, Weedle, Professor Oak Seal, item finder. Yeah, that was not my uh, my blade that did that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be way easier. I don't know the packs. They're like I don't know what material is used there exactly, but it uh, it does not cut 
or does not uh, tear very easily, rather. Star me, star you. Ratata, raticate, polywag. We got a Alakazam and a Clefairy. Helps if I show the, the hollows too, I guess. But it looks like maybe we have more variety in the base set one. In the base set packs. Interesting. Um, again, at the booster box. What is going on with this poor Alakazam? Look, he's got like splotches. But maybe that's the way that like hollow would look on him if it was on him as well. We don't seal dugong for blasty, war turtle, pidgeotto, ratata, and a pidgey. All right, what do we got for a hollow? A zapdos. Okay, a bent zapdos. It seems like our our hollows got a little bit of damage on them. I don't think we can send these to Wizards of the Coast for replacements. I have a feeling that they will not replace them. Magmire, Growlithe, Bulbasaur, Imposter Professor Oak, Machoke, and a Haunter. I think somebody was asking for a Haunter and chat. Oh, we get the Nine Tails. Okay. So, no duplicates yet on the uh, the Hollows. So we get 17 and 17. So. We're gonna get duplicates, I would think, unless we got some kind of made-up stuff. Interesting, they went with the a Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. Sandshrew, Jinx, and a Ghastly. Yeah, I feel like there's way less dupes in this then. Oh, I spoke too soon. We got a Double Clefairy. Double up. Stick these up here. Are we gonna get a Charizard, though? That's the real question. Where's the Venusaur, the Charizard, and the Blastoise? Oh my god, these packs feel terrible. Alright. We're just gonna reveal the Hollow. We get a Nitto King. So far we're doing really bad in terms of which Hollows. If they were real cards, uh, we would have been dicked in the butt. We still need a Chansey. We still need the Starter Trio. We're going full speed run now. Oh, there's the Chansey. I take it back. We have a Chansey. Plus power, Haunter, Abra, Pokemon Trader. That's a rare. Whoa, okay. Look here we can see like where the actual border is supposed to be. And they just added a bunch of border on, I guess. Another Pikachu, double colorless energy. Santru. Let's open another Blastoise here. Again. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? We got like a... There's like a... Manufacturing... Dent? Or like the machinery or something? Oh, we got a Magneton with a bent corner. Okay. Yeah, we're getting all the, uh, the worst hollows here. Pokemon Breeder. Which is a regular rare item finder. Also a rare trainer. Next. And then we're getting into the Venusaur packs. Which is fun. We got our... Do we have another Chansey? This one with a little mark on it. No, it's just a fingerprint. A little corner ding. Maintenance Pidgey, Squirtle, Potion, Star Me, Star You, Radicate Farfetched. Hollow rate is definitely good, but where are the big boys? Where are the big boys at? Hmm? Alright, let's keep a Venusaur pack for science. Another Chansey, alright. So Chansey would be a good hit uh, if we were in the, the real real world here. Electabuzz, we had the rare Electabuzz and the rare Electrode. So I guess you get two, three regular rares, Imposter Professor Oak. You get multiple regular rares 
and you get one hollow per pack. Where are the Charizards at? That Okay, so this one wasn't flipped around backwards. We got a Magneton. Another Magneton. Make some space for them. Not duplicates that we want to get, I don't think. Again, if we were in a scenario where we were actually opening cards that weren't garbage, that's what we'd want. Venusaur pack. All right, get out of here. Okay, we got an Alakazam. Another Alakazam. Put him over here with the first one. If we can get him underneath. Zapdos has a nice little ding on him. Gust of Wind, Bill. Energy, Devolution Spray, Clefairy Doll. Getting lots of those rare trainers, but feels wouldn't feel as bad as getting a rare trainer on a real pack. Since okay, we got a Zapdos. We don't have well, we do have one of those. We do have a Zapdos. We got another Zap. Holy sh! Look at that! Look at that centering. All that room, and we are we are very off center. The whole pack, just like that. See if we get any more of those. We still have a ton of cards to open, but we're gonna go through the whole thing. We gotta see if maybe all the Charizards are on the other side. We got another Mewtwo. We're doubling up on everything. Can you imagine? They just they just don't they just don't put the uh, the trio in there. All right, almost halfway through. I know people are going to want to see the rest of it just to see what is in there. So we're going to power. We're going to power through. We got the world's shittiest packs to open. Even when you knife the top of them, apparently they are impossible. We got another Nitto King. Put him there. Not looking good. Good thing these aren't real packs. Real heavy packs. That would be... Well, I guess if you were getting that many rares per pack, maybe it would be worth it. Or more worth it. Okay. We got another Ninetales. I thought it was a Charizard for a second. Um, but it is definitely a Ninetales. See if I can't speed it up here. Put it in hyperdrive. See. Make some room in the garbage can. Alakazam, third one of those. Starting to think that we might uh, there might not be any starters. Or we're just extremely unlucky. What do we got? Hitmonchan, first one of those. Arcanine. People used to love Arcanine, uh, even though he's an uncommon. That big 100 HP. Am I right? Anyone else on the schoolyard think that HP and damage numbers mattered more than anything? I'm pretty sure that was everyone. All right, we got another Mewtwo. Put him over there. Third Mewtwo. It could be just that we're getting unlucky here. We have to. We have to believe. I'm pretty sure we've seen most of the set. Okay, we got him a champ. That's hard to do from a base set pack, but uh, we managed. He was uh, in the uh, trainer or starter deck. Always first edition. Not always shadowless. The exception to the rule. Alright, we got a fourth Mewtwo. 
just in case just in case we need a full play set we got them that's what the the proxy sellers say right that you need them for gameplay so it would make sense that there's four in here magneton i know we have a couple of those now we have a third Dragonair Dratini, very nice of them to put both in the same pack so you can play it. Come on. There's got to be at least one of each hollow, right? We got 34 packs. We got another nine tails. Dugong. Ponyta, Charmander, Caterpie. I guess we should take a look at the back of the card too while we're at it. Um, there are videos on this channel to, to identify fake Pokemon cards, um, but if you can't tell these are fake, I can't I can't help you. Uh, yeah, it's way too dark, way too thick, um, and also if you check your pee hole, that is a terrible looking pee hole. So. You see how messy this is? Pretty terrible. Let's get a regular, real Pokemon card. This is why you need a jeweler's loop. Um, you can check your pee hole there. If it doesn't have a pattern that looks just like this, it's probably a fake card. That's the, uh, the reference for anyone that is wondering why I tell people to check their pee hole. We got a Blastoise. We did it. All right. So we need the Venusaur, and we need the Charizard. I think those are the only ones we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? What are we missing here? Alright, we got a Raichu. We didn't have one of those. Venusaur. And Charizard still not showing up. Meanwhile, Mewtwo over there has three friends. Rigged or not rigged? Oh, we got another Blastoise. With some dents in them. War Turtle. No one should be collecting these things, but I'm going to be kind of disappointed if we don't at least get to see all of the hollows. It's starting to look pretty grim. We got another Machamp. We got some upside down. Holy trainers. Holy trainers. Trainer pack. Um, yeah, maybe gonna, gonna be a little bit, at least a little bit disappointed if we don't get to see at least one of everything. We got a nine tails, trainers, another trainer pack. I don't know what's going on here exactly, but I don't think we had those before. Could be wrong. We did uh, rifle through these pretty quickly. Another Alakazam, a fourth Alakazam. Still no Charizards or Venusaurs. We got an energy pack. We got the energy pack. A couple trainers. Very cool. All right, come on. Let's uh, get our boys here. Polyrath. Okay, we don't have you. We're running out of chances to get the remainder. Two packs left. Can we get the Charizard and the Venusaur? No, we didn't. We got another Ninetales. I think that's like the third or fourth Ninetales. We got all kinds of cool dudes. Last pack. We can't complete the set. 
unfortunate, but it's all right. It was only for the memes. We got a Nato King to end it off. So no Venusaur, no Charizard. We got boned. That's it. That's all, guys. Um, hopefully a little bit helpful. Hopefully a little bit entertaining. Um, don't buy this stuff. And just compare. Compare whether it's a card uh, that you're skeptical about or if it's a box. Whatever it is, look it up. There's pictures. There's real pictures. Find uh, somewhere reputable that has photos and, and do just a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, and then the box itself. If you're going to be buying expensive boxes, uh, know the look and feel of those boxes before going out and spending a ton of money on it. Make sure you pay in a, in a method. You buy it from someone reliable uh, that is going to back up the product and or uh, that can be easily tracked down afterwards. That you have some sort of uh, method of retrieving your funds if they send you something that isn't what it's supposed to be. That's it. That's all, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. See you next time.